to my channel, you guys. Today's video has been a long-ish time coming. It's everybody's favorite topic. It's my feet, y'all. We have very exciting news. Um, my six month feet finder update video is about this close to hitting a hundred thousand views. Y'all really be wanting to know things about these feet, all right? And I get it, I get it. In the comments, I have noticed very many people asking, what is up with Feet Finder now? What is the update? What's been going on? Because as we last left it, if you have not already seen it, um, I'll link it, obviously. I'm very professional. I had a correspondence with the president of the company, um, basically saying, what's the deal? I'm not really seeing any sales in that first kind of six month period. And wanting to check in and see how that was going, but basically letting you all know like, yes, I signed up for this service and wah, wah, nothing had really happened. So I wanted to give you an update of what sort of transpired since then. So not a whole lot, to be honest with you. Um, a little bit, I got some feedback from them. I, I think I shared it in the video, but basically some suggestions from them for things I could do to kind of increase the possibility of making some sales. Was it just slow starting? Were we being scammed? And here's my update from that point. I still don't know. <laughs> my gut still says no, we're not being scammed, but I also don't really like it. I only ever made sales to one person. This was right around the time that Feet Finder actually added in their membership fees uh, for sellers. And they waived those fees for me. They said, you know what, continue to review our site. I can't remember exactly how many months they gave me, but it was several months. Yeah, I made a couple sales, but I also found being in Canada using Paxim, which I have said it appears to be safe. I've not had any repercussions from my identity, my bank account, anything um, from using them. Between exchange and the rates of Paxum and everything else, I was losing almost somewhere between 50 and 60% of my earnings. So that was a bit troubling to me. Uh, wasn't a big fan of that. So I wasn't really interested in paying to continue for just this one customer. They adamantly request that you do not invite people to meet you on Kick, uh, continue the conversation on Snapchat, get in your Instagram DMs. No, they're, they're very quick to say, do not do that. If someone asks you to do that, shut it down. There are very many scams that could come about from that. However, there's also a chance you can just do your business behind the scenes and save yourselves both some money. Um, the seller, you're getting full fees, and the buyer, maybe the fees are a little lower because they're not having to accommodate the additional fees being lost. So whatever. They request that you don't do that, and I do think they have your bestest interest in mind. They don't want you to get scammed. There is a lot of scams out there. That wasn't really gonna be an option for me, uh, reaching out to my customer and getting them to find me somewhere else. Um, and essentially, I wasn't really interested in paying to continue, so I contacted them and we sort of went back and forth, I think for another month or two, because originally I said to them, I am locked out of my account. Now, I don't care about my account, but what I do care about is my content. I was encouraged to upload hundreds of albums because they said that would increase the legitimacy of me as a seller. That would increase the likelihood of making sales. And I agreed, I didn't have hundreds, but I had a lot of content uploaded and now I don't have access to it. But you know who does? Feet Finder. And I can't now take it down off their site and own it as my own. Another thing to mention is maybe 
um, watermark your images. So that person buys them for $10 and turns around and sells them 10 times for $10. That's really easy money for them. This is just such a complicated industry with so many facets. And I can't say for sure that I think Feet Finder is doing it wrong, but I can say for sure that I don't think they're doing it 100% right. So they renewed my account once again at that point when I sort of pointed out, hey, uh, I have some content and now I have no access to it. They were like, cool, no problem. We'll, we'll give you another month or two of a free trial. And again, I used it. I don't think I made any sales in that time, but I cannot recall for sure because at that time I was more thinking, trying to encourage people to find me other places if I'm not gonna pay the money for the membership. A little shady on my side, but also I gotta look out for number one, you know? You know what I'm saying? So that didn't really pan out for me. I don't think anybody found me through there or met me somewhere else. And again, the month came and went and I never took down my content. So my content remains. It remains on Feet Finder for all I know. And obviously me deleting it doesn't delete it from the universe, the world, the internet. It's out there. I've put it out there. I've posted it out there and now it's it belongs. It is attainable by someone. When I'm posting content, it's in the world. It doesn't belong to me anymore. So they're encouraging you to post hundreds of albums of content. And then even if you are paying the monthly fee, I feel like they still have access to this content and I don't know how to feel about it. And I don't know how y'all feel about it, but it just didn't sit right. I'm a little uncomfortable. I don't love it. I'm not sure that they are doing anything wrong with them. I want to make that very clear. I can't say that there is an actual problem with that. Again, we post our images literally everywhere. Look at me. Like, hello. I'm out there. You know, I get it. If lots to think about, always, always thinking. This I wanted to give you guys an update. I responded to a bunch of the comments. I'm so sorry I can't get to them all. I wish I could. I love the love that you're giving and I'm so excited to continue to share. But I like, you know, I know this is what you came here for, but like, could you check out a few other things? Like, I do other stuff, all right? It's not all feet. Just watch something else, okay? Like the feet, it's getting old, guys. Like I'm over it. Aren't you over it? Aren't we over it yet? Are we over it? Can we be over it? There are people in this world that are making bank on this. There are people with OnlyFans accounts, maybe Feet Finder accounts, any kind of account who are pulling in more than enough money to support themselves. That has not been my reality. It most likely won't be yours. And I don't say that to be mean, but to give you a realistic expectation. You know, like, we can't all be the Kim Kardashians of the foot industry. What is this? Anyways, that's all for today, now, this update, because I'm tired of this shit. Okay, no, I'm just, just kidding. The Jessie Potts and her feet saying, I love you all.